Screw Hello World. Let's do something worthwhile. Every person who's ever tried to teach anybody how to do programming starts off with Hello World. Well, who the f gives a flying monkey's ass? Hello World is just a way of saying, da, look, I put some text on the screen. I could have done that in Notepad. Let's do something worthwhile. I recently wrote a, uh, uh, yeah, recently wrote, recently did a video about the fact that RAM optimizers can in fact work by forcing garbage collection. So, I'm going to show you how to build your own little RAM optimizer in VBScript. I have the task manager up. You can see that I'm currently running at 2.31 gigabytes of used memory, which is just over 50%. I got there by running a Google Chrome with a bazillion different tabs open, and it's sucking up a lot of memory. We'll close that up, that one, we'll close this one, and you'll see that my memory usage just fell to 865, which is a big drop. But I've created a VB script that's called freemymind.vbs, and the line simply contains Brandon's memory is too full equals space open parens 512 followed by six zeros, close paren. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a variable and stuff it with emptiness for 512 megabytes. And because I want to free up to a gig and a half of memory, I've repeated that three times. Now, if I repeated that for more than eight times, that would go beyond the four megabytes of RAM that I have and the system would probably crash because there's nothing to prevent badness from happening because I'm not teaching you how to handle errors. So, on my desktop, I have my freemymind.bbs. I double click it, it runs. You see a huge spike in the memory briefly, and then it drops. And we went from the, I think I 812 before, down to 802. 802, so I freed 10 megabytes of RAM. Now, this wasn't the most awesome example because Chrome did a very good job of cleaning up after itself. But had Chrome crashed, it may have left a lot of memory and clutter there. The problem with trying to do this demo and show you how much RAM it could have freed up is really just creating a scenario that's going to have a lot of memory that's stuck. Uh, and you can run this more than once. So we'll double click it again. We shoot up, we use three gigs briefly, and yeah, we came back to 802 again. So we didn't free any additional up, but I'm not running enough stuff. But basically the way this tool works is you put in how much you want of memory to free up by doing it in like 512 meg chunks. You double click it, it runs, and it fills up a whole bunch of RAM. Windows says, oh my God, I'm out of RAM. What am I gonna do? Maybe I should clean up after some of these programs that aren't running anymore. And it goes through and cleans them up. And that's what a RAM optimizer does. The real difference is whether or not like a resident RAM optimizer would say, hey, you hit your memory limit and the CPU cycles are low. Let's try and free some stuff up and would go, let's try 64, let's try 128, let's try 256, let's try 512. And it would just keep stacking those and let the garbage collection run, and then as soon as the CPU cycles dropped, it would, you know, try again. And if the CPU cycles went up, it'd say, hey, he's probably doing something, he probably won't be happy if I try and free up his RAM. So this does the same thing, but it does it on demand, you just double click it, and it says, ah, free up some memory. Um, and it works well. And it's three lines of VB code, or eight lines, or however much you want to clear up based on the amount of RAM you have. So. That's your introduction to VBScript. You now know how to make your own RAM optimizer in three lines of code, and you now know what VBScript is.